Okay, so just to summarise, she's 28-week twins, dichorionic, who we've put on a tocolytic, and we've got the steroids on board, and she's now uh, sort of static at the moment. Is that okay? Sure. Can you ask why are we giving this patient steroids? Yes, uh, I mean, steroids have been shown to reduce complications of prematurity, particularly uh, respiratory distress syndrome, but also other things such as intraventricular hemorrhages. And can we have a look at the evidence for steroids? Is that possible? Yes, I mean, I think, uh, I mean, first of all, there's a lot of work being done since the original research, meta-analyses, and there is a Cochrane review, and the evidence has been embodied in guidelines, college guidelines, and our guidelines so we can look at all of that. And she's 28 weeks pregnant so when do we give them the steroids? Well um, that's a good question because the original evidence if I remember rightly shows a significant clinical effect between 26 and 32 weeks but the guidelines have been broadened to 24 to 34 weeks. I can have a look for the evidence. Can we just clarify the PICO terms? Is the patient in threatening preterm labour. Yeah, that, that sounds like when we use it. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the question then comes is, do we benefit this patient by giving her steroids or not? Can we just clarify our question now? The patient would be... Pregnant women in preterm labour. And our intervention? Will be steroids versus no steroids. I can do the searching and I can feed back to the group.